All points of biblical fasting. Jesus' point of view and the instructions that he chooses. A fast should be a happy event. In Matthew 6.16, 6, Jesus explains what we are to do when we fast and what we are not to do. He is referring to Isaiah 58, 2 through 5. Verse 5 says, Is this the sort of fast I want, a day when a person mortifies himself? Is the object to hang your head like a reed and spread sackcloth and ashes under yourself? Is this what you call a fast, a day that pleases Adonai? God wants us to be happy and rejoice over our fasting. It is not to be a burden, it is to be a pleasure. Also in Isaiah 58, 5 through 12, when we fast, we not only fast from foods or certain foods, we fast from doing things that displease God. When we fast and pray, we are to release prisoners from spiritual bondages and release people from being prisoners in our own hearts and minds, grant laborers rest, and to take action and do the works of Jesus. It is not only about a spiritual release from bondage, but a natural release. We are not to be stingy, oppressive, or tight-fisted to others. Isaiah 58, 7, we are to release those unjustly bound, untie the thongs of the yoke, let the oppressed go free, break all yokes, share our food with the hungry, take the homeless poor into our house, clothe the naked when we see them, fulfill our duty to our kinsmen. Isaiah 58, 8 through 12, if you do this, your light will burst forth like the morning. Your new skin will quickly grow over your wound. Your righteousness will go before you. Your glory will follow you. Your will call to God and he will answer. You will cry out and you will hear God say, here I am. If you will generously give food to the hungry, meet the needs of people in trouble, your light will rise in darkness and your gloom become like noon. God will always guide you. He will satisfy your needs in the desert. You will renew your strength and your limbs. You will be a spring whose water never fails. You will rebuild the ancient ruins. You will raise foundations from ages past. You will be called repairer of broken walls, restorer of streets to live in. The natural points of fasting release those unjustly bound. Let go of all the people you are holding prisoner in your mind and heart. Stop falsely accusing people. Stop blaming others for your problems. Stop listening to people's lies and gossip. Untie the thongs of the yoke. The yoke rests upon the neck of the working animal, being fitted to each by forked pieces of wood joined securely into the yoke and fitted under the neck with a long or chain. This command means to stop using people, stop abusing people, stop overworking your employees, stop overworking your children and your family, stop expecting and demanding more from people than they are able to do or to give, stop relying on people for everything, grow up, stop being like Pharaoh who commanded the Israelites to make bricks without straw, stop acting like a taskmaster over your family, your students, your employees, let their necks free, stop choking them with your lies and your sin. Let the oppressed go free. Forgive the debts of others who cannot repay. Let your older children grow up. Stop treating them like babies. If you refuse to be a good spouse and you will not stop abusing, let your spouse free. When they run from you, do not chase them to torment them or to kill them. Stop transferring the guilt of your sin onto others. Be honest to others. Your lies oppress them. 
Break all yoke, again, all yoke that you see. Break them. Ask God to reveal to you all the yokes in your life. Break away from bad friends, people who lead you to sin, toxic relationships, bad habits, laziness, procrastination. Share your food with the hungry when you are fasting. Give the amount of food you will not be eating to the hungry. If you do not know a hungry person to give some food to, then give to a ministry. If you usually spend $50 on food but only eat $25 worth of food, then give the other $25 to the hungry. Take the homeless poor into your house. This means to actually take a homeless person into your house. However, it is not safe to take strangers into your house. Sometimes it is not safe to bring a homeless friend into your house. So donate money to a shelter or a ministry that houses the poor or create a ministry or organization that houses the poor. Clothe the naked when you see them. This means to give clothes or money for clothes to the poor. Fulfill your duty to your kinsman. Your kinsman is a blood relative, a relative by marriage, or a person of the same nationality or ethnic group. To keep that family bloodline strong and sustainable, you must deliver them from slavery. In the Hebrew Bible and the rabbinical tradition, a kinsman redeemer is a person who, at the nearest relative of another, is charged with the duty of restoring the rights of another and avenging his wrongs. Families should stick up for one another, not tear each other apart. One duty was to redeem or purchase back a relative who had been sold into slavery. Today, many families go into business together, pass down the family business or ministry, pass down an heirloom or a treasured item, purchase land together, pay one another's debts, help one another, and watch over one another to secure peace and prosperity. Doing these things while fasting is a joy. Freedom feels good, and fasting gives us time to think over these points, search our homes for these treasures, and ask God how to accomplish His will for us. The Spiritual Supernatural Points of fasting. This has to do with the actual act of intercession. It is about spiritual warfare and using our authority in prayer in the name of Jesus. It is about speaking the word of God against the devil, tearing down the devil's strongholds, taking captive all thoughts to the obedience of Jesus, to implore Jesus, using the word of God, which is a double-edged sword, to harm the powers of darkness, release the lost, and set captives free. Setting them free from the sins of the flesh, smashing all idols in their hearts that they have built with their own hands, idols of metal, of wood, and of stone, believing in the Lord that you and your household will be saved, redeeming your family to the kingdom of heaven, clothing the naked with the Spirit of God, praying the lost into an eternal home in heaven, feeding them with the bread of life, breaking all demonic oppression and demonization, set all captives free. Many are being held by Satan against their will. Others like the pleasure of their sin. So we rebuke all the pleasure they have in it. Release those unjustly bound, untie, the thongs of the yoke. Let the oppressed go free. Break all yokes. Take the homeless poor into our house. Clothe the naked when we see them. Fulfill our duty to our kinsmen. Let us pray. Father, give us grace to see your heavenly point of view and the instructions that you choose concerning our fastings. Give us the grace needed to make fasting a happy event. Give us the sort of fast you want. 
do not allow us to mortify ourselves and hang our heads like reeds and spread sackcloth and ashes under ourselves. Allow us to rejoice over our fasting. Not only shall we abstain from certain foods, but also from things that displease you. Help us to release prisoners from spiritual bondages and release people from being prisoners in our own hearts and minds. Grant laborers rest and to take action and do the works of Jesus. Help us not to be stingy, oppressive, or tight-fisted to others, Lord. Give us grace and knowledge to do and to know how to release those unjustly bound. Untie the thongs of the yoke. Let the oppressed go free. Break all yokes. Share our food with the hungry. Take the homeless poor into our house. Clothe the naked when we see them. Fulfill our duty to our kinsmen. Adonai. King of the universe, allow our light to burst forth like the morning, our new skin to quickly grow over our wounds, and our righteousness to go before us. Let the glory you have placed upon us to follow us. Then we will be confident that we will call you, O Lord, and you will answer. We will cry out, and we will hear you say, Here I am. Put generosity into our hearts to give food to the hungry, to meet the needs of people in trouble. Yes, our lights will rise in darkness and our gloom become like noon. God, always guide us. Satisfy our needs in the desert. Renew our strength and our limbs. Make us springs whose waters never fail. Anoint us to rebuild the ancient ruins and raise foundations from ages past. Call us, repairer of broken walls, restorer of streets to live in. Give us grace, release those unjustly bound to let go of all the people we are holding prisoner in our minds and hearts. Show us who we have falsely accused and give us grace and wisdom to stop blaming others for our problems. Forgive us for using people abusing people, overworking our employees, overworking our children and our families, and expecting and demanding more from people than they are able to do or to give us, and to stop relying on people for everything, deliver us from acting like pharaohs who commanded the Israelites to make bricks without straw, to stop acting like taskmasters over our families, our students, our employees. We will to forgive the debts of others who cannot repay, letting their oppress go free. Make us to be godly spouses and to repent of our sin towards them. God, oh, reveal to us all the yokes in our lives. Help us to break away from bad friends, people who lead us to sin, toxic relationships, bad habits and laziness, and procrastination. Father God, Show us how to share our food with the hungry, how to take the homeless poor into our houses. Give us grace, wisdom, and provision to fulfill our duty to our kinsmen. We believe your word. O oh Lord, doing these things while fasting is a joy. Freedom feels good. We agree that fasting gives us time to think over these points, search our homes for these treasures, and we ask you, God, how to accomplish your will for us. Make us warriors in the acts of intercessions. Make us relentless and bold against the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus. Give to us the words to speak against the devil, tearing down the devil's strongholds and taking captive all thoughts to the obedience of Jesus. To implore Jesus, using the word of God, which is a double-edged sword, to harm the powers of darkness, release the lost, and set captives free. Setting them free from the sins of the flesh, smashing all idols in their hearts that they have built with their own hands. Restore us, O Lord. Hear us now, we pray. Turn your ear to us. We are believing in you, Lord, that we and our household will be saved, redeeming our family to the kingdom of heaven, clothing the naked with the Spirit of God, praying the lost into an eternal home in heaven, feeding them with the bread of life, breaking all demonic oppression and demonization 
and setting all captives free. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.